Hey guys, what's up? Tim Knox here. Hope you're having a fantastic Saturday. Just a really quick and dirty video for you today. This is going to be a quick overview and mini tutorial on Digicam Control software. Uh, that is the software that I'm using on my uh, for my Rebel T5 uh, that does not have an external monitor. Uh, you may have saw the last video. I'm using a 70D now and I really like it because of the flip out screen. But prior to this, I had a, uh, a, five, uh, a T5 that uh, had no external monitor and I, it was just a paperweight to me. So uh, I've been wanting to find a way to add an external monitor to the T5 so I could use it as a, uh, a second camera, that sort of thing. And so I ran across this software called Digicam Control. And uh, what it does is you install it on your PC or tablet and it lets you, uh, gives you the functionality of turning that PC into an external monitor for your uh, camera that does not have one. Now, you can also use a software called DSR Controller, a DSLR controller that is for Android tablets, but since uh, my Android tablet went the way of the dinosaurs, uh, I'm going to go with this. So what I plan on doing with this is installing Digicam Control onto a tablet PC that I have and use it for an external monitor. So what I want to do today is just give you a really, again, a quick and dirty overview of the Digicam Control software and some of the functionality that I think is really neat. I'm not going to go in depth. This is not a, a complete tutorial. This is just a surface tutorial. If you want to know more, get off your lazy ass and click on the help file button. So let's jump over to the computer and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, what you see here, let me start with this screen. Wow. What a nice pensive young man. That gentleman right there is probably pondering, you know, deep things like the cure for cancer or the, the recipe to, to Coke Zero. I don't know. Uh, but when you launch Digicam Control, which is available for free, digicamcontrol.com, uh, it is for uh, most Canon and Nikon cameras, some Sonys, but not too many. But you can download it for free. Now, one caveat, it is free. It is a an evolving software, so you may run across bugs. You may th find things that uh, are, are wrong with it, but, you know, it's free and you can't bitch too much. You'll find a workaround. I did. But you can do a lot with this software. But what I'm going to talk about today is simply using it as an external monitor and using it as a camera controller where uh, you've, you've been in those situations, your camera is six feet away and you need to adjust the ISO and you don't want to move. Well, this will give you uh, the ability to do that. So let's look at the software. Let me just kind of close up some screens here. And when you open it, you get the main editing screen and you can see there are camera functions down the side. I'm going to look at those in just a second, but you've got various uh, functions of the software. You can take a still image, you can do video, you can download the images that you take, uh, you can bracket your photography, a lot of things you can do with this that I'm not going to go into. So figure that out on your own. What I want to show you is the live view. Now, if you click on LV, you're going to get the live view. And what that means is you're getting the live view that is coming through your camera lens. Now I have the T5 over here and that is what this software is running through. Now the screen's a little jerky because I'm also doing a screen capture now. So it's a little jerky, but uh, it will give you an idea of, of what we can do. So over on the left side, these are the controls that you can be concerned with. You can set your camera to autofocus. You just click that and we'll watch the screen. And the one thing that doing, you can see the screen come into focus. The camera's like, holy crap, what is that that I'm focusing on? Uh, the one thing that I am learning in this tutorial is that I really, I don't have a good side. Is the back considered a side? Uh, anyway, you can autofocus. You can record a video and save it directly to your camera or to the desktop. Uh, you can capture stills and then you can preview uh, what you have captured. So really quickly, though, I'm going to look at the commands down the left side of the settings. There is a luminosity setting. I'm not going to go into that. I don't use it. Uh, if you want to play with luminosity, make yourself comfortable. Uh, what I primarily want to talk about are the controls. And this is what I really like about this software is you can control the camera from your PC or your tablet. 
So you can do the capture delay and count if you're doing stills. What I like is right here. You can see my camera. It's the Canon T5. Uh, I can change the ISO setting. I can change the shutter speed. I can change the aperture, the white balance, and it will take effect on the screen. For example, if I change the ISO from four to 800, did you see the screen get a little lighter there? Of course, the higher the number, the more light that is coming in the lens. Now, this is me uh, during a nuclear explosion. Ah, yeah. Uh, but you can either set it to ISO, which is going to do it automatically based on uh, your light situation, or you can adjust it here. And again, the cool thing is you don't have to walk over to the camera to make the adjustment. All right. So let's also look at things like shutter speed. And same thing, you'll see the picture change. It gets lighter and dark, darker based on the shutter uh, the shutter speed. Uh, you can change the aperture setting if I want to uh, open that up a little bit or lessen it. Again, that is going to uh, affect the amount of light that is coming in. And uh, so let's set that back a little bit. Okay, so that's the cool thing. You can adjust these uh, settings, and as you are recording, that that's the settings that the camera is going to use. You can also do a uh, adjust your white balance, your exposure, and your focus. So I thought that was really cool, and that's primarily what I'll use this for. Uh, you can also play with things like they have a display setting here. If you want to see the display in black and white, which really, I look so much better in black and white. Wow. I, I'm almost uh, I'm almost devilishly handsome because of the grays. Uh, they look more blondish. So you can do that. Now you can also invert. Now this is what I like. I, I really want to live in an inverted world because I look so f freaking cool in an inverted world because, you know, this is what I have to work with. So anyway, you can play with those as well. You can also rotate the view if you want of the camera. That's kind of neat uh, for those uh, times when you want to do something a little different. Um, you can just have all kinds of fun. You can crop it. You can do different things. You can also do overlays where uh, if you have an image that you want to uh, bring in, you can do, I'm going to bring in this image here and then you can scale it down. You can move it around the screen, do whatever you want with it. Kind of neat, kind of neat. Not sure that I will ever use it, but someone with more brains and time than I uh, could probably figure out a very cool way to use that. So uh, there are various other things here, but that's that's really it. That's what it does. And if you want to record a video, all you have to do is record a video and you heard the camera click there and you see it's telling me now that this is actually recording a video using this camera. Hey, mom, how are you? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. When you want to stop, you simply click stop record. Okay, and then you can go back over. It's uh, in the process of saving the file now, but you can close out this view and go back into the dashboard view and you are going to find your video that you just recorded right there and you can just click on it and it shall play. It's like magic, right? Holy shit, that's good coffee. So that's it. You can also do stills if you want. Let's take a still photograph. Let's go back over to live view. And all I have to do is click on capture. So let me cut a thoughtful pose. Oh, I forgot you were here. Uh, so you can do that if you're wanting to take images for your thumbnails. And again, if I go back over here, there are the images that I just took using this function. And I really like that one because I look like I'm saying, aha, ah, Bach, something like that. So anyway, I think it's cool. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. And it's just really handy to use. And it will solve your problem if you if you don't want to use an Android DSLR controller, you can get Digicam control uh, free from their website. I don't get reimbursed for saying a damn word. Uh, so just go 
check it out, download it, see what you think. And uh, like I said, it's going to come in very handy for me because I'm going to put it on a tablet, attach the tablet to the tripod where the second camera is. And I now have a monitor and a way to remotely uh, change the setting. So, Hey guys, I hope you found that helpful. I am going to go take a much needed shower, finish my coffee and head off to a, a dog adoption or something, uh, heroic like that. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, click the subscribe button below because I'm going to do a lot more of these tech videos. We're going to start looking more at digital media and how you can use digital media in your business. Uh, so click the subscribe button below. And when you do, you're going to see a little bell. And what you're going to do is you're going to ring that bell. You're going to click on that bell because if you do, every time I do a video, you will be notified. How cool is that? So nice of YouTube to do stuff like that for you. I just think it's brilliant. All right, guys, digital digicamcontrol.com. Go download it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Is this something you find useful? Something you think you may find useful? Uh, are there other alternatives that you would like me to look at and review for you? Hey, I am here, but to serve. So until next time, folks, have a great weekend. Talk to you soon.